Hi there everyone, I'm going to do a follow-up video to the video I did about a week ago with uh, the disassembly and the repair of a Sony CD player and the one that died was the 1990 Sony CDP 490 CD player. I've taken and uh, removed the tray assembly where the laser and, uh, and the tray is. I've put it over here in my desk. If you're not interested in kind of technical things this will be boring so uh, here we go. This unit here basically sits on top of this unit in the tray. So there's two mechanisms. There's the mechanism that drives the, uh, the CD and moves the lens. And there's the mechanism here that opens and closes the tray. Now this part here in this Sony unit, this was really hard to take off because it's just plastic tabs on the side here that uh, that hold this thing on. It took me a while to figure that one out. I thought they'd use screws or something. If I can just lift this off. This might be hard to do with one hand. This tray goes back and forth. There's a motor under there that's attached to this cable. This cable goes over and attaches to, uh, to the circuit board on the bottom of this so everything is coordinated. Now if you want to change the belt, this is the problem. You have to take the whole unit apart, get inside, and there's, there's the belt. Now I'm going to take the tray off. All we have in here is plastic gears, and to, to uh, change the belt, you have to take everything off, like so. You see there's a small electric motor, or small motor here on the right hand side that drives the tray through the belt. I found that the belt was good, but to change that you have to take the whole thing apart. Um, on the older unit that I have, the 1987 Sony CD player, you just had to take this, flip it, flip it over and it was exposed and then you change the belt. But this one you have to completely disassemble. Now, here we have the laser assembly. That's where the CD would sit when the tray is closed. And it's just friction that I think it's just friction that holds that CD in there. Friction against this as it spins. So taking this off. This unit has two motors, and you can see them there, and they're attached to a circuit board. Now this comes off. I'm going to, I'm going to remove the, the uh, circuit board from this top assembly, like so. There they are. Now, there's a steel post here that's stable, very stable, and the laser assembly moves across the CD like this when it plays the CD. When you change songs it has to go zoom, zoom, zoom back and forth depending which song you want to play. And this is all driven through these gears here. Which are attached through here into the circuit board and everything is coordinated through the circuit board. The, uh, the tray assembly through here attached to the circuit board. The uh, device that, that uh, the motor that spins the CD and it's all coordinated with the laser. So it's, it's complicated but it's simple at the same time. The most difficult <laughs> thing I, about this and, and design feature that I dislike the most is the fact that you have to disassemble this whole thing just to change a belt. And uh, most people probably just throw these things out rather than changing the belt because there's so much work involved in this. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.